Uranus. The seven planets of the ancients comprised the Sun, the Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. However, the ancients' religions and mythology speak for their knowledge of Uranus. The dynasty of gods had Uranus followed by Saturn, and the latter by Jupiter. In the clear sky of Babylonia, the planet Uranus could have been observed by an unaided eye, but since it was known as a deposed deity, it would seem that at some later time the planet lost much of its brightness. It is quite possible that the planet Uranus is the very planet known by this name to the ancients. The age of Uranus preceded the age of Saturn. It came to an end with the, quote, removal of Uranus by Saturn. Saturn is said to have emasculated his father Uranus. Behind this story, there might have been a scene in the sky. In one theory of the origin of the solar system, a sideswiping star tears out from the sun a long filament of gaseous material. Similarly, Saturn may at one time have emasculated Uranus. Saturn was represented by the Romans with a sickle in his hand. Circumcision may have originated as an emulation of the acts displayed in the sky. When it appeared, the Saturn with a sickle emasculated Uranus, the Egyptians, and so also the Hebrews, introduced circumcision, the removal of the foreskin being pars per toto instead of castration. It is not unthinkable that some time before the age the record of ancient civilization reaches, Uranus, together with Neptune, Saturn, and Jupiter, formed a quadruple system that was captured by the Sun and from which the planets of the solar system had their origin. But here, nothing but imagination takes over where tradition, based on witnessing, does not reach. According to Hesiod, the catastrophe described as the removal of Uranus by Saturn gave birth to Aphrodite. In Worlds in Collision, Aphrodite was identified with the moon. This was written by Emanuel Velikovsky, narrated by Electric Universize, referenced on vrchive.org slash itb slash uranus dot htm